Hey, trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. Trendy tribe, I dropped the new Lauren Hill art. Um, so y'all have the link. And I hope you enjoy it. That was from Sketchy Saturday. Y'all, sorry I'm coming to y'all with this kind of news, but it kept floating around for me. And so I'm going to go over it. This story comes from NBC. So it says five employees of the Palm Beach County, Florida school district were charged with failing to report sexual abuse after they were made aware that a teenager had allegedly assaulted a 15 year old student. Palm Beach Central High School principal Darren Edgecombe, former counselor Priscilla Carter, teacher Scott Hutchins and assistant principals Nareda Callado de Garcia and Daniel Snyder were arrested Monday after an investigation into the aftermath of the 2021 assault according to Palm Beach County court records. Although authorities found evidence to corroborate the girl's account, her parents declined to file charges because they felt a long legal battle would inhibit their daughter's progress, court documents said. The case was cleared in October 2021, but the girl's father later contacted the sheriff's office because he felt school officials were criminally negligent in their mandatory reporting obligations. According to a redacted affidavit in Hutchins' case, a student wrote a letter detailing concern for a friend who experienced two sexual assaults and whose mental health was suffering as a result. The letter, which included concerns about self-harm, was given to Hutchins on June 16, 2021. Hutchins told the sheriff's office that he read the letter and gave it to the school's guidance office. The affidavit read, The 15-year-old girl was then evaluated by a school official who determined she did not need to be Baker acted which is to be put on an involuntary mental health hold. The affidavit also said the unnamed school official did not ask the child about her sexual assault during the evaluation. The official spoke to someone else whose name was redacted and said the guidance office had received a letter that outlined the student's self-harm and suicidal ideation, but made no mention of sexual assault. According to the court document, the student attempted to take their life over the summer of 2021 at a school function in Washington, D.C., in a separate affidavit filed in Snyder's court case, the sheriff's office investigator says Snyder was made aware of the assault on August 16, 2021. The girl was then asked to make an official statement to school officials about the assault. Snyder did not report the assault to the Department of Child and Family Services as is required by state law, the affidavit in his case said. The affidavit says an unnamed official, quote, conducted his own investigation and would not share his findings, end quote, at a meeting three days later. That person also said he did not contact law enforcement because, quote, he felt that sexual assault did not occur based on his own investigation, end quote. In that meeting, a person whose name was redacted asked whether they were required to report the assault and was told the child, quote, should have told her parents and the parents should have reported it to law enforcement, end quote, according to the affidavit. The girl's parents eventually reported the assault to law enforcement on August 20th, 2021, three days after Snyder was alerted and months after the girl's friend gave her letter to Hutchins. Probable cause affidavits were not immediately available in the court records for Edgecombe, Cayoto de Garcia, or Carter. The Florida Department of Child and Family Services noted that Florida law names specific occupations as mandatory reporters of child abuse or neglect, including school teachers, counselors, and other personnel. There are multiple ways to contact the department through its abuse hotline. The abuse hotline counselor will determine if the information provided meets legal requirements to accept a report for investigation, the department said in a statement Tuesday. County inmate records show all five of the current and former school personnel were released on bond Tuesday. None of them immediately responded to requests for comments sent to their county email addresses. Angela Cruz Ledford, a spokesperson for the school district, said the employees were moved into positions that do not have student contact. Quote, the allegations involving students occurred off of school property and over a weekend, end quote, Ledford said. Quote, however, no matter when or where any alleged assault against a student occurs, our policy aligns with the law, which requires all personnel to report suspected abuse, end quote. The district declined to comment on the arrest, citing an open investigation. Okay, y'all, I'm glad that these adults are being held accountable. Someone in that line should have reported on behalf of that child, especially as it is the law. And here's a short clip of the news story. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye. Instead of getting ready to go back to school, Palm Beach Central High School Principal Darren Edgecombe appeared before a judge this morning. You're Mr. Edgecombe, sir. 
Yes. He and four other school employees, Assistant Principal Daniel Snyder, Assistant Principal for Adult Education, Nareda Cayedo de Garcia, Chorus teacher Scott Houchins and behavioral health professional Priscilla Carter, all in court facing charges for failing to report an alleged sexual assault of a 15 year old girl off campus in 2021. I know these people. I know that they care about the kids. Their whole life is the kids. Parent and student advocate Carla Donaldson says when she saw the news, it broke my heart for the student. Um, for her friend, um, for administration. The case goes back to 2021. The arrest report says in June, a student wrote a note about her friend being sexually assaulted and having suicidal thoughts. The report goes on to say she gave that note to Houchins, who turned it over to Carter in the guidance office. What's alleged to have followed was a series of meetings and discussions with various administrators, but the alleged assault was never reported to law enforcement or the Department of Children and Families. According to state law, all school district employees are obligated to report all actual or suspected cases of child abuse, abandonment, or neglect. I hope it's a wake-up call for, the, for everyone to realize that it's not our place to judge. It's not our place to investigate. It's simply our place to report and move on and be supportive of that child. He has an impeccable record as a teacher. The judge, when deciding bond and release conditions, added... Family to report is a serious issue, but not one that I believe should require someone to lose their job under these circumstances.